हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज धर्म बी सर हियर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर थर्टीन ऑफ ग्रेड इलेवन मैथ्स विच इज लिमिट्स एंड डेरीवेटिव एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज डेरीवेटिव सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ वी हैव लर्न अबाउट लिमिट ऑफ एनी फंक्शन एट ए पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट सो इफ वी हैव ए फंक्शन एफ एक्स एंड वी हैव टू चेक its derivability at the point a it is said to be derivable at point x equals to a if limit h tends to 0 f a plus h minus f a upon h exist exist means the denominator should not be equal to 0 it is unique it has single value and it is finite it is denoted by f dash a that is the derivative derivation of f x at x equals to it given by f dash a okay now if we have to find the differentiation or derivation of a function dy upon dx or f dash x then it is derivated by using the formula f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0 f x plus h minus f x upon h this method is called first principle of derivation a first principle of differentiability okay we are going to use this formula to find the differentiation of few functions so pause and note down this point now some standard formula for the differentiation that is to find dy upon dx or f dash x differentiation of constant is zero differentiation of x power n where n is some rational number will be nx power n minus 1 differentiation of u power n where u is some function of x is given by n into u power n minus 1 then differentiation of du upon dx differentiation of cu where c is some constant is given by c into differentiation of u okay so pause and note down these points now we have some differentiation of some standard trigonometric function that differentiation of sin x will be cos x differentiation of cos x will be minus sin x differentiation of tan x is sec square x differentiation of cot x is minus cos x square x differentiation of sec x is sec x tan x and differentiation of cos x is minus cos x cot x now if you look at the pattern if it is starting with c that is cos cot or cosec for these three the sign is negative So remember this pattern that whenever we differentiate cos cot or cosec, the differential will be, differentiation will be negative. Okay, so pause and note down this formula. Now coming to some rules. If we have the differentiation of two functions, product of two functions, then we apply the product rule as differentiation of first function multiplied by second function plus first function multiplied by differentiation of second function okay where u and v are some functions of x the same pattern can be followed for the product of three functions of x it will be differentiation of first multiplied by second and third then first multiplied by differentiation of second multiplied by third and then product of first two and differentiation of third and th this can continue for four five and six whatever number of products are there now this was for product of two functions what if we have the division of two where u and v are some functions of x then we apply the quotient rule as denominator square here the denominator v so we have v square differentiation of numerator multiplied by denominator minus numerator multiplied by differentiation of denominator this is called the quotient rule of differentiation okay so pause and uh, note down these formulas so keeping in mind all these formulas let's start exercise 13.2 and the first question is find the derivative of x square minus 2 at x equals to 10 now since some point is given so we have to apply the first principle now we are fx equals to x square minus 2 and a is equal to what we know that x equals to a so here a is equal to 10 so we have to apply limit h tends to 0 fa plus h minus fa upon h for this we need fa plus h 
So F A plus H equals to what? 10 plus H. F 10 plus H. So replacing X by 10, we get 10 plus H whole square minus 2, which is equal to H square plus 20H plus 98. And we need to find F A. A equals to 10. So F 10 equals to what? 98. So putting these values in the first principle formula, we get F dash A equals to limit H tends to F 10 plus H minus F 10 upon H. So putting values of F 10 plus H minus F 10, we get limit H tends to 0. H square plus 20h plus 98 minus 98 upon h which is equal to h square plus 20h upon h taking h common these two will be cancelled we get h plus 20 and since limit s tends to 0 we get the value as 20 clear so pause and note down the solution moving to question 2 find the derivative of 99x at x equals to 100 so we have fx equals to 99x a is equal to 100 so F A plus H becomes 99 into 100 plus H and F A becomes 100 equals to 99 into 100. So F dash 100, here A is equal to 100. So F dash 100 equals to what? Limit H tends to 0, F 100 plus H minus F 100 upon H. So putting the values, we get limit H tends to 0, 99 into 100 plus H minus 99 into 100 upon H. So these two will be cancelled. We get 99 H upon H. So H and H cancel, we get only 99. So the derivative of 99x at x equals to 100 will be 99. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question 3. Find the derivative of x at x equals to 1. So we have fx equals to x, a is equal to 1. So f dash 1 equals to what? Limit h tends to 0. f1 plus h minus f1 upon h. Which is limit h tends to 0. f1 plus h minus 1 upon h. So minus 1 plus 1 will be cancelled, we get h upon h, h and h cancel, we get only 1. So the value of the derivative of x at x equals to 1 will be 1 only. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question 4. Find the derivative of the following functions from first principle. So we have to apply the first principle. So the first one is fx equals to x cube minus 27. So finding fx plus h which is equal to x plus h whole cube minus 27. So applying the first principle which is f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0. fx plus h minus fx upon h. Now putting the values we get x plus h whole cube minus 27 minus x cube minus 27. So open the bracket minus 27, 27 will be cancelled. We get limit h tends to 0. x plus h whole cube minus x cube upon h. So applying a plus b whole cube, we get x cube plus h cube plus 3x h x plus h minus x cube. Now minus x cube and plus x cube is cancelled. So we get limit h tends to 0, h cube plus 3x square h plus 3x square. Taking h common, so h and h cancel, we are left with h square plus 3x square plus 3x h. Now putting h equals to 0, we get 3x square. So the differentiation of x cube minus 27 will be equals to 3x square. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Now second part, we have fx equals to x minus 1, x minus 2. And multiplying, we get fx as x square minus 3x plus 2. So we have to find fx plus h, which is equal to x plus h whole square minus 3 into x plus h plus 2. So applying first principle, f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0, fx plus h minus fx upon h. So putting the values, we get Limit h tends to 0, x plus h whole square minus 3x plus h plus 2 minus x square minus 3x plus 2. So if you open the bracket, x square minus x square cancelled, minus 3x plus 3x cancelled, plus 2 minus 2 cancelled. So we are left with limit h tends to 0, h square plus 2hx minus 3h upon h. So taking h common, so h and h cancel, we are left with h plus 2x minus 3. And since h tends to 0, so putting h equals 0, we get 2x minus 3. So the differentiation of x minus 1 into x minus 2 will be equals to 2x minus 3. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Now part 4 is fx equals to x plus 1 upon x minus 1. So we need to find fx plus h. So we get x plus h plus 1 upon x plus h minus 1. So applying the first principle, f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h. 
So putting the values, limit s turns to zero. One upon h, x plus h plus one upon x plus h minus one minus x plus one upon x minus one. So taking LCM and simplifying, we will have x square minus x square minus x plus x plus x minus x plus h x minus h x minus one plus one. Everything everything is cancelled except this h. So we are left with limit h tends to zero, one upon h into minus two h upon x plus h minus one x minus one. So h and h cancelled, we get limit h tends to zero, minus two upon x plus h minus one x minus one, putting h equals zero. So we get minus two upon x minus one x minus one, that is minus two upon x minus one whole square. So the differentiation of x plus one upon x minus one equals to minus two upon x minus one whole square. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. So moving to question five, we have f x equals to x power 100 upon 100 plus x power 99 upon 99 plus and so on x square upon 2 plus x plus 1. We have to prove that f dash 1 equals to 100 f dash 0. Now f x equals to x power 100 upon 100 plus x power 99 upon 99 plus and so on x square upon 2 plus x plus 1. So differentiating, we have applied x power n. We know that differentiation of x power n equals to what? N x power n minus 1. So f dash x becomes 100 x power 99 upon 100, 99 x power 99 upon 99, and so on. 2 x upon 2 differentiation of x is 1, and differentiation of 1 is 0. So we are left with f dash x equals to what? X power 99 plus x power 98 plus and so on x plus 1. So we have 100 terms. Remember this, because we have started from 99, and this one can be written as x power 0. So 0 to 99 we have 100 terms. So putting f dash Zero in place of x, we replace zero, so we have f dash zero equals to one. And f dash one, replacing x by one, f dash one equals to what? One plus one plus and one and so on, up to hundred times. Okay, we have added one hundred times, so this will be equals to hundred. So hundred into one, and this one is equal to what? F dash zero. So we get f dash one equals to hundred into f dash zero. Hence proved. Clear. So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question seven, for some constants a and b, find the derivative of x minus a, x minus b. So, since we have the product of two, okay, so we have to apply the product rule. The differentiation of first multiplied by second plus first into differentiation of second. Now, differentiation of x is one and a is zero, so we get one into x minus b plus x minus a into one. Simplifying, we get two x minus a plus b. Done. And second is f x equals to a x square plus b whole square. So applying a plus b whole square, we get a square x power 4 plus 2 a b x square plus b square. Now we are going to apply x power n. So f dash x will become a square 4 x cube plus 2 a b into 2 x plus 0. On simplification, we get the differentiation as 4 a x into a x square plus b. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Moving to question eight. Find the derivative of x power n minus a power n upon x minus a for some constant a. So since we have a division, so applying the quotient rule, we have f dash x equals to denominator square, that is x minus a whole square into differentiation of numerator multiplied by denominator minus numerator into differentiation of denominator. Okay, remember this formula. So we get n x power n minus one into x minus a minus x power n minus one. Into one upon x minus a whole square. So on simplification, we get n x power n minus n a power n x power n minus one minus x power n plus a power n upon x minus a whole square, which gives the final differentiation as f dash x equals to n minus one into x power n minus n a x power n minus one plus a power n upon x minus a whole square. Done. So pause and note down the solution. Now moving to question nine. Find the derivative of. We have f x equals to two x minus three. So differentiating with respect to x, we get f dash x equals to differentiation of two x minus three upon n. So separating it, we get differentiation of two x and differentiation of three by four. Now two is constant, so out of differentiation, so two into differential of x and differentiation of three by four, which is constant, will be equals to zero. Now differentiation of x is what? One. So two into one, that is. Moving to third part, 
एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री फाइव प्लस थ्री एक्स सो ओपनिंग द ब्रैकेट वी गेट फाइव इंटू एक्स माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री पावर एक्स माइनस टू सो डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग बोथ साइड्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वी गेट एफ डैस एक्स इक्वल टू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री एक्स पावर माइनस टू सेपरेटिंग इट वी गेट फाइव डिफ्रेंशिएशन एक्स माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस टू विच गिव्स फाइव इंटू माइनस थ्री पावर एक्स माइनस फोर प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री सो ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी गेट द डिफ्रेंशिएशन एस माइनस थ्री अपॉन एक्स पावर फोर इंटू फाइव प्लस टू एक्स क्लियर सो पॉज एंड नोट डाउन द सोल्यूशन पार्ट फोर इज एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स पावर फाइव मल्टीपेड बाई थ्री माइनस सिक्स एक्स पावर माइनस वन सो ओपनिंग द ब्रैकेट वी गेट थ्री एक्स पावर फाइव माइनस सिक्स एक्स पावर माइनस फोर सो डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वी गेट एफ डैस एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स पावर फाइव माइनस सिक्स इंटू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस फोर विच इज थ्री इंटू फाइव एक्स पावर फोर माइनस सिक्स इंटू माइनस फोर इंटू एक्स पावर माइनस फाइव सो सिंप्लीफाइंग वी गेट फिफ्टीन एक्स पावर फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव सॉरी ट्वेंटी फोर अपॉन एक्स पावर फाइव एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स पावर माइनस फोर इंटू थ्री माइनस फोर एक्स पावर माइनस फाइव सो ओपनिंग द ब्रैकेट वी गेट थ्री एक्स पावर माइनस फोर माइनस फोर एक्स पावर माइनस नाइन सो डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वी गेट एफ डेस एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस फोर माइनस फोर इंटू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस नाइन सो थ्री इंटू माइनस फोर इंटू एक्स पावर माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस नाइन एक्स पावर माइनस टेन वी हैव अप्लाइड द आइडेंटिटी ऑफ एक्स पावर एन On simplification, we get the f dash x as 12 upon x power 5 multiplied by 3 upon x power 5 minus 1. Clear? So pause and note down the solution. Part five is f x equals to x power 5 multiplied by 3 upon x power 5 minus 1. So open the bracket. We get 5 into 3 upon x power 5 minus 1 into 3 upon x power 5 minus 1. So open the bracket. We get 5 into 3 upon x power 5 minus 1 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 into 3 upon x power 5 minus 